Hey everybody, it's Bacon Donut here, and welcome to my Sky Factory tutorial series. This is something that has been much requested, and I'm excited to bring this series to you. This first episode, I'm going to explain what Sky Factory is and how to get it. In the second video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what to do in the very early game, because it can be confusing uh, if you're new to it. And each of the following videos after that will be um, one video for each of the challenges that goes along with the mod pack. So first of all, what is Sky Factory? Sky Factory is modded Minecraft. It is a collection of mods for Minecraft that I put together that is um, a, basically a modded version of a classic challenge map, that being Skyblock. Uh, many people have played Skyblock or watched YouTube videos about it. Basically, you're in, a, in an infinite void world uh, with very few resources and you have to survive. So this is the same concept, but it's modded and uh, you get high technology. You can fly, you can go to other dimensions and all sorts of fun stuff. And as you can see right here beneath me here, you start off with very few resources. We're on a tree that's sitting on a single piece of dirt over a void and in your inventory you have four things a book that explains a little bit about the open blocks mod a book that explains a little bit about the tinkers construct mod a torch and the achievement book now these first two books are not necessary if you know how to use open blocks and tinker so I personally just pitch them because I don't need them uh, and that just leaves us with the torch and the achievement book and inside the achievement book, there's a lot of helpful information. It's an introduction to the pack. It's got um, uh, an explanation about how to use this book and an early game walkthrough. And like I said, I'm gonna have a video specifically for that. And after all of that information, there is a list of challenges. And all you have to do is just click them, boom, boom, boom and as you as you complete the different challenges build a cobble generator automate the cobble generator craft a sieve and all sorts of other stuff there's tiers of difficulty and it gets progressively harder and you do not have to complete them in order so that's what sky factory is and uh other videos are gonna talk about how to actually do all that stuff but let's talk about how do you actually get it you want Sky Factory, you don't have it, how do you get it? Well, you go to your web browser, and you go to the website for the launcher, which is atlauncher.com. AT Launcher is a program that just lets you download mod packs, and there's a bunch of different mod packs on there. I've got a couple. Sizzlecraft is my other mod pack. It's an older one. It's way out of date, and, um, and Sky Factory is on there, too. So go to atlauncher.com and click on downloads right there so this is the download page there is a download and installation video that you can watch right there scroll down here with you know windows mac or linux you just pick your appropriate platform click it run the file that downloads and install it and uh there you go after you download here and install it and run the program this is what you'll be looking at right here so this first screen is just a list of like news items that sort of stuff where the real magic happens is this tab right here for packs um and so this is a list of all the different mod packs that are available on the at launcher sky factory currently at the time of this video is in slot number two that's not guaranteed though it can move around so it might not be on the front page here you might have to scroll down to find it just depending on how long from now you're watching this video so all you have to do is click new instance next to the pack that you want to install. You give it a name, such as Sky Factory. If you want to install an older version of the pack, you can do this, but it defaults to the new one. And you click install, and then it's gonna pull up this screen here with a list of optional mods. These are mods that you can install if you want to, but you don't have to. So just choose the mods that you want to include and click install and you're done. It's gonna go and download all the mods, put them in the folders, and you'll be good to go. 
when it's all done downloading and installing and all of that sort of stuff, you're gonna see a little pop-up right here like this that says, Sky Factory has been installed. Find it in your instances tab. So just click okay. And what it's talking about is right here, instances. So this is all the instances of various mod packs that I have installed. I've got a bunch of them. And in this list is gonna be the one that you just installed. And there's one last thing that you need to do after installing the instance, if this is the first time using the launcher, you're gonna need to set up an account. You can see that I've already done this because it's got my little Minecraft face here and it says bacon donut there. You need to click on the accounts tab and right here you can add an account and this is where you put in your Minecraft username or, or slash Moyang email address, whatever is the, uh, correct for you and uh, your password you can have it remember the password or not click add and that's it and then after that it can uh, log in for you when you go to your instances and just click play that's it click play you only have to do all that mess one time and from then on it's super easy to launch one last thing I want to mention before we move on from the launcher is this settings tab right here. I don't know what the defaults are, but you may need to adjust some settings here, especially in the Java slash Minecraft tab. In order to, modded Minecraft takes a lot of RAM. And so I don't know what this value is going to be set to on your computer, but you want to give Minecraft as much RAM as you can without using more RAM than what you have on your computer. So personally, whenever I play modded Minecraft, I always set my RAM to four gigabyte for the game. So the game itself is going to consume four gigs. So I've got a range here where the minimum is two, maximum is four. You can probably play it with less, but if your computer can handle it, then go for it. If this number is too small, it's going to lag out or possibly not launch at all. If the number is stuck at one gigabyte, if it's at 1024 uh, and you can't make it any bigger, that means you need to upgrade to the 64-bit version of Java. And the other thing to notice here is the perm, perm gen size. You want this to be at least 256. I've got mine set to 512. And if you've got both of those settings set, then you should be good. It's also worth noting that I personally cannot give you technical support for the launcher or even for the pack. I just don't have the time to answer everyone's questions. If you have trouble with any of this, don't come to me because I won't be able to help you. AT Launcher, back on their website here, has an excellent support forum. Click on the forums button right there. It's gonna take you to the AT Launcher forums. The webpage is loading slow. Why am I getting trolled by my own internet? So here's the forums. There's a lot of helpful sections. There's um, a spot for each of the packs on the launcher, including Sky Factory. You can see right there, Sky Factory. So that's the place to go. You can see there's there are over 400 uh, different threads on there. That's the place to go if you need technical help or if the launcher itself is giving you trouble um, there's, there's a section for that too. So that's where to go to get help. And, uh, that pretty much wraps this up, right? So that is what Sky Factory is and how to get it. And in the next video, I'm going to give you an early game walkthrough, what to do with that stupid tree and how to get started. And, uh, from there you should be able to knock it out and have some fun with some Sky Factory. So if you enjoy uh, Minecraft content, if you enjoy the pack, then I suggest coming over to my stream at uh, twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut and you can see me playing Sky Factory and other mod packs uh, and also vanilla live on Twitch Monday through Friday. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel here or follow, follow me up on Twitter as well. And I will see you in episode two, guys. Bye.